Today, I created a player to rival Victor Wembanyama. His name is Isaac Adrian, and he's 7'5 and 295 pounds, meaning he's both taller and stronger than Wembanyama. I'll also show you some more of his attributes after we see what team he's drafted by. Let's head to the draft lottery and see what team is going to get this generational player. It'll be the Toronto Raptors. With the first overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Isaac Adrian from Georgia Tech. And now we can take a look at some of Adrian's stats, badges, and tendencies. Isaac is elite when it comes to inside scoring and overall shooting. He can knock down mid-ranges and threes. He's also a really good defender, just like Victor Wembanyama, and he can rebound the ball at a very high level. Here's what some of his tendencies are looking like. He's got a 100 shot tendency and 100 touch tendency, meaning he's going to be the guy on whatever team he's on. He's also going to be shooting a lot of mid-ranges and three-pointers. He's going to be a shooting big man but that doesn't mean he lacks the capabilities to score inside but his specialty is going to be shooting also here are some of the badges he's working with he's got a couple hall of famers anchor catch and shoot and challenger for his rookie season he's also got quite a few gold badges and some bronze badges here's what the team is looking like headed into season number one the raptors brought pascal siakam back to the team on a one-year deal i also did move isaac age Adrian over to the center position that way both him and Scotty Barnes could be in the starting lineup but now that Siakam is also here it makes things complicated I'm just gonna let the coach figure out the lineup but we know Isaac Adrian will be a starter in year one he comes in immediately as the best player on this team let's jump into season one Isaac Adrian's rookie year Luka Doncic wins MVP and Isaac Adrian wins rookie of the year averaging 20 points 10 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 blocks in his first season. And check it out, Adrian knocked down over 253s as a 7-5 big. Wembenyama did win DPOY. I'm hoping Isaac Adrian can start taking those away from Wemby pretty soon, but it was just year one for Isaac. Wembenyama in year two, though, is already going crazy. He made all NBA first team. Isaac Adrian does not make all NBA just yet or all defense. But his Toronto Raptors were elite, winning 53 games on the season. And the Spurs, they were bad. They only won 34 games on the year. So it's clear who had more team success in Adrian's first season. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Miami Heat with Jimmy, Hero, and Bam. Y'all know Miami. And it looks like this series is going to come down to a winner go home game seven. Let's jump in the Simcast. Isaac Adrian and the Raptors are going to go down losing by nine points in game seven adrian with 24 and 11 in this one he had a great first round series but unfortunately we ended up going down to the more experienced miami heat who made it all the way to the nba finals and ended up winning the title Jokic won finals mvp in a losing effort but i mean that's not too bad isaac adrian was a rookie he lost to the eventual champions he took the eventual champions to seven that wasn't bad at all and headed into year two adrian is up to a 96 overall also i am going to change up the lineup a bit i'm moving scotty barnes to the three we'll have siakam play the four and have rj barrett at the two that way all of our best players can be in the starting lineup and our roster kind of looks loaded i think we might have a chance to win the title in adrian's second season Another season in the books, Luka Doncic wins MVP. Maybe I should have created a player to rival Luka. And Wembenyama wins DPOY again. I was hoping our guy Isaac could win it. Wemby's also on All-NBA first team. And Isaac doesn't make All-NBA at all? Hold on, man. What's going on, Isaac Adrian? I expected you to be better in season number two. He put up good numbers, but he didn't really improve a ton. Maybe it's just because he's playing alongside other elite players. He hasn't gotten the recognition he deserves just yet. But the good thing about playing alongside other really good players is that we're in the NBA playoffs as the two seed. We won 
55 games. We were elite in the Eastern Conference. Wembenyama didn't even make the playoffs, and we're up 3-0 to zero on the Wizards early. We're going to sweep them. Now we've got the Celtics in round number two. We also sweep them. Next up, it'll be the Detroit Pistons. We're up 3-1 to one on them. They'll win game five, but we beat them in six. So in season number two, Isaac Adrian is in the NBA Finals, taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have Jamal Murray. How do they afford to sign Jamal Murray for 33 mil? Like, this just isn't fair. Look at this team. If Isaac Adrian can beat this Thunder squad, that would be incredible. Game one goes to OKC. They win game two as well. We're going to take game three and four. So we're all tied up headed into game five. And also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 40K. And it looks like in game number five, we're going to get out of there with a dub. The Thunder tried to come back late, but we end up winning Isaac Adrian 2011-6. And we are one win away from an NBA title. Adrian has a chance to win a championship before Victor Wembanyama. And it looks like this game is going to come down to the wire. With 53 seconds remaining, we are up by five and the Thunder have the ball. If we get a couple more stops, we should be good. Ball is going to go into Jamal Murray. Adrian is not checked in the game right now. Murray's going to get the screen. He dumps it down to Shea. Gilgis Alexander spins a couple times, loses the ball, swings it out to an open wall who misses the three. Scotty Barnes will grab the rebound. Now it goes up to Grady Dick, who has a wide open dunk. He's going to slam it home. And Isaac Adrian is not fouled out of the game, so hopefully they check him in soon. In the meantime, the Raptors are taking care of business. They're up by seven here, about 30 seconds to go. One more stop would go a really long way. We probably would secure the win. Shea finds Jalen Williams. J-Dub gonna pull a tough three. Oh my gosh, and he knocks it down. After the made three from J-Dub, Isaac Adrian checked into the game, and now we're gonna have to shoot some free throws. Emmanuel quickly is going to the line. First foul shot for quick is all net. Second one for quickly is also good. So we've got a six point lead here, less than 22 seconds remaining. OG Ananobi gives it into Shea. Gilgis Alexander trying to create some space. Going to the basket here, backing down RJ Barrett. What are you doing, Shea? You're wasting way too much time, man. He's getting absolutely clamped by RJ. It's gonna go out to OG. OG fires a three and knocks it down again. They're hitting shots here in the clutch, but if we get a couple more free throws to go, we should be in business. Quickly, you can win this chip at the line. First one is good. Second one for Emmanuel quickly is also good. And the Thunder just don't have enough time left. So Isaac Adrian is going to win an NBA championship in his second season. He wins a ring before Wembenyama as the best player on his team. Congratulations, Isaac. Look at everybody celebrating. I can't even see him in the video holding up the trophy. In the final game, Adrian dropped 23 points and he was named finals MVP as he averaged 22, 11, and 4 in the NBA finals on great efficiency while Wemby was watching the playoffs from the couch. Great stuff from Adrian and it's only year two. Now we gotta see if Isaac can go for the repeat. We kept our championship core together. I don't see why he can't go for two in a row. Another season in the books and Chet Holmgren wins MVP. I feel like I don't see this too often in the 2K simulation. Chet also wins DPOY. Our guy Isaac Adrian finally made his way onto All NBA. He's on the second team, averaging pretty similar numbers to year one. He's also here with Victor Wembanyama. And this season was great for Adrian and the Raptors. We won 60 games on the year. Round number one, we're taking on the Boston Celtics. We'll sweep them. Round two, it's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we lost in five. Losing in the second round coming off the chip is crazy. And Wembenyama is still going in the playoffs. He's in the conference finals. So he's going to have a chance to tie Adrian in championships here. Wembenyama's in the finals taking on the Pistons. And he'll get a win so the year after Adrian Wemby's gonna get a championship they're tied up at one to one here with rings I was kind of wondering why 
why Isaac Adrian's numbers weren't too crazy. And you know why? The Raptors coach has been hating. He has not been playing our guy enough minutes. So this year, I made sure to get Isaac out there and active. He is a 99 overall right now playing 39 minutes per game. There's no reason he shouldn't be playing a ton of minutes. He's elite. Season is wrapped. I got Isaac Adrian's minutes right and look what he did. He won MVP, averaging 25 points, 13 boards, 4 assists, elite efficiency. He could handle the additional minutes. And Victor Wembenyama won Defensive Player of the Year. So no DPOY for Isaac, but hey, you can't complain with an MVP. And Adrian did make all defensive second team this season. We won 55 games, making us the second seed in the Eastern Conference. And in the first round, we're going to be taking on Brooklyn. We're up and it looks like we've got a game seven coming up against Brooklyn. This Nets team sucks. No way we lose to them. Isaac Adrian does manage the game seven win 31 nine and three in this one. He's kind of been struggling so far in the playoffs, but hopefully he can pick it up. Next up, it's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers. They no longer have Tatum, so I'm not too scared. Did that say they had Stefan Cassell? Actually, that team was pretty nice. We're down two to one early. We're down three to one. We're going to win game five and we lose in six. Isaac's lost two years in a row in the second round after we won the championship in season number one. Luckily, this time, Wembenyama didn't go on to win the chip or anything. But we're not the Clippers, man. We got to start making it past the second round again. Another season in the books. Isaac Adrian goes back to back on MVPs. He also wins DPOY. Oh, he's taking over the league. Wembenyama's done for, man. Isaac Adrian is the best big in the entire NBA. We won 56 games this season. We have De'Aaron Fox on the team now. We traded for D Fox. Hold on. We got to see how that went down. Oh, we traded Siakam. I actually don't mind that at all because we didn't really need all that wing play and we get an elite guard in Fox. In round number one of the playoffs, we're going to be taking on the Charlotte Hornets. We sweep them. Next up, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're tied up at two apiece. We're going to win game five and we close it out in six. And in the conference finals, we got the Atlanta Hawks with Trey Murray and Sangoon. A good team for sure. And early on they're giving us trouble we're down three to one in the series we'll win game five and lose in six but adrian is only 24 years old he has yet to enter the prime of his career and he's already won two mvps in a ring so i feel like he's doing pretty well for himself but hopefully he can start adding some more titles to his resume soon another season in the books isaac adrian had the best year of his career putting up career highs in points rebounds and assists along with blocks and steals he was just great across the board he averaged 28 and 15 on the year and he also won dpoy when sitting over there on second team adrian is dominating this rivalry and your toronto raptors won 67 games on the year in round one we're taking on the pistons we sweep them round two it'll be the washington wizards oh my gosh we almost blew that lead but we smacked them in game Game seven, Isaac Adrian, 40 and 21. And in the conference finals, we got the Cavs with Bryce James playing for the team his dad played for. And overall, that Cavs squad is definitely solid. We've had our fair share of run-ins with Cleveland and we've lost to them a lot of times. And this might just be another one of those times. We lose in five. 38 and 14 in the final game for Isaac Adrian, but it's not gonna be enough. So Isaac Adrian didn't win a championship this year, meaning that he's still only sitting on one ring. The Raptors have consistently been a great regular season team, but over the past few years, they've just struggled to get it done in the NBA playoffs. Hopefully something will click for them this season and they can get back on top and win another ring. Another year, another MVP for Isaac Adrian, but Wembenyama has something to say. He went out there and won DPOY over Adrian, but the Raptors, they were elite once again, winning 65 games on the season. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Indian. Indiana Pacers we beat them in five round two it'll be the Washington Wizards we beat them in six and again we've got the Cavs can we get past this team and make the finals please game one of the series will go to us we also win game two and three and it looks like we're gonna sweep them we're back in the NBA finals led by Isaac Adrian and we're gonna be taking on a T-Wolves team that's headlined by Dylan Harper and Carl Anthony Towns a good team but are they better than us I don't think so we're tied up at one apiece after 
after two games. They win game three and four. Are you serious? We're going to win game five and six. All right. The Isaac Adrian 3-1 comeback. I'm here for it. We're headed to a winner go home game seven title on the line. It's not looking good in the third. We're down big. It's really not looking good in the fourth. We lost. Isaac Adrian with 35. He just needed more from his teammates in this one. And the T-Wolves win the chip. We were so close to making that 3-1 comeback, man. At this point, Isaac Adrian is headed into year number eight. And he's also set to become an unrestricted free agent next summer. Adrian has one championship. And Wembenyama also has one ring. So they're all tied up. And also, just as a quick check-in on their overall resumes, here's what Wemby's resume is looking like. He doesn't have any MVPs, but he does have five. DPOYs and then Isaac Adrian he's got four MVPs and he also has a couple DPOYs so let me go count those out because 2k isn't showing them on the list here Adrian has two DPOYs of his own Wembenyama of course has a lot more than that with five but that's where we stand in terms of the competition between Wemby and Adrian I would say that so far Adrian is definitely doing better another year another MVP for Isaac Adrian Wembenyama wins another DPOY why so Wemby might be the better defender but it seems like Adrian is the better overall player also last year we were talking about Adrian's free agency he ended up signing a five-year extension to remain in Toronto as we had another great season winning 54 games in round number one of the playoffs we're going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers and we're up three to two don't lose to the AC man let's take care of them in six and we will we're moving on to take on the Washington Wizards in round two with Alexander Saar. So Adrian's going to be taking on another elite big man in Alexander Saar. We're tied up at one apiece after two games. We'll win game three and four, and we'll make easy work of the Wizards. Next up, it's going to be the Atlanta Hawks with Bronny and Hugo Gonzalez. Okay, a Bronny led team here in the conference finals. They're not going to be good enough to stop us. We sweep them. And in the NBA finals, we got Chet versus Isaac Adrian. Of course, the Thunder also have Shea. Adrian and the Raptors beat the Thunder to win their first championship. We'll see if they can do it again. Game one goes to OKC. Thunder win game two. We're going to win game three and the Thunder win game four. We take game five and six. All right. Isaac Adrian is on the verge of a three to one comeback. He forced game seven in the finals in a previous year after being down three one and lost. Let's see if this time he can actually win. It looks like this game is going to come down to the wire. We're all tied up at 117 apiece with 50. 52 seconds to go. Let's jump in. Here we go. We have possession of the ball. It's going to go into De'Aaron Fox. He's defended by Shea Gilgis Alexander. Fox is going to get the screen up top. D Fox attacking the basket, gonna kick it out to Adrian. I thought Adrian would shoot that, but he swings it over to Grady Dick, who pulls a three, and he's gonna miss it. Shea Gilgis Alexander will grab the rebound, and now the Thunder have a chance to score. Shea's gonna pull a short jumper and knock it down. Isaac Adrian has to take that three point shot if he's open, man. And ball goes into Fox, and it's ripped away by Shea. If Shea hits both of these, we might be cooked. First one is good. Second one for Shea is also good. Oh, no. No timeouts left here. About 21 seconds left. D Fox is bringing it up. He's defended by Gilgis Alex. Oh, my gosh. De'Aaron Fox, bro. Work on ball handling drills all offseason. Matter of fact, you're 34. You might as well just retire, bro. No way you turn it over twice in the clutch. Game 7 NBA Finals. Isaac Adrian only 13 points. That's a bad look, bro. And Chet Holmgren wins a chip in a finals MVP. So Victor Wembenyama and Isaac Adrian are still tied up in NBA championships with one apiece. Adrian and Wembenyama are still younger than 30 though. So they have plenty of time to add to their resumes as we head into year number nine for Isaac Adrian. Season is wrapped and Victor Wembenyama is going to get his hands on an MVP and he wins another DPOY. Isaac Adrian was still all NBA. He was still out there hooping, but Wemby takes home the MVP this time as his Spurs were the one seed in the Western Conference winning 63 games. Yeah, the Raptors only won 47 games. 
it makes sense why Isaac was an MVP. Let's jump into these playoffs though. Round number one, we're gonna be taking on the Bulls and we beat them in six. Round two, we've got the Detroit Pistons. We're down three to one and we're gonna lose in five. Kind of a down year in the playoffs for Isaac Adrian. And when Binyama makes his way to the finals in his MVP season and he's gonna win a chip. Wemby was able to close it out in game seven while Isaac Adrian lost the last time he was in the finals in game seven. So when Binyama is is up two to one in NBA championships. Isaac, you gotta lock in, man, because you can't let Wembenyama start getting really far ahead in championships. That's when things will get ugly. He's only one ahead right now. Just go ahead and win one this year, and then you'll be all tied up. Isaac Adrian might be cooked, man. No MVP, no DPOI, as Cooper Flag and Ron Holland won those awards. Isaac did make All-NBA first team, putting up good numbers, but that's not what I'm worried about. Bro, the team kind of sucks. We were a play-in squad winning four. 45 games. We are going to punch our ticket to the playoffs where we'll be taking on MVP Cooper Flag in round number one. Our playoff run probably ends right here. Yep, we got swept. The Raptors are going to need to get Isaac Adrian some more help and soon. We can't afford to waste years of his prime. Isaac Adrian is still a 99 overall as we head into another season. And the team's pretty much the same as last year, which means we're probably going to struggle again. Unless last season, was just a down year or something it was a fluke and we'll be able to bounce back that's what i'm hoping for season is wrapped and i guess last year was a fluke because isaac adrian is back he won mvp no dpoy for isaac but isaac did end up making the all defensive second team and the raptors won 51 games making them the three seed we're back in round one, we're going to be taking on the New York Knicks. We're down three to two, and we lose in six. Another first round exit for Isaac Adrian. And as of right now, Isaac Adrian only has one season left on his contract. It'll be interesting to see if he opts to test free agency next summer rather than returning to Toronto. The Raptors have been great in the regular season, but man, it has been tough in the playoffs since they won their first championship. They've never been able to win another one since, despite having the best player in the league in Adrian. Another season in the books, Cooper Flag wins MVP, Stefan Cassell wins DPOY, Isaac Adrian is on All-NBA first team. I feel like we haven't been hearing too much from Wemby as of late. Now that he's 32, he just isn't playing as well as he used to. He still is one championship up on Isaac Adrian though. And for that reason, I'm giving the Toronto Raptors an ultimatum. Adrian ended up signing an extension with this Toronto team, but if they lose in these playoffs, I am going to force Isaac to enter free agency. I feel like it's only fair. This team has been unable to get it done in the postseason year after year. In round one, we're taking on Boston, and we beat them in seven. All right. And in round two, we lose to the Bulls. All right, Isaac, it's time to get out of here, man. You tried your best in the playoffs. You've been trying to carry this team but it's time for a new journey you all know how it goes in today's nba if a player's unhappy if he's losing he's gonna make his way to a new squad so i don't feel like this is unrealistic at all let's see where isaac adrian ends up going it looks like he's making his way to sacramento to play for the kings now who do they have okay this kings team is pretty nice they've got carter bryant and scoot henderson two 90 plus overall players and some solid role players on the team as well i think that isaac should be able to compete on this king's team maybe a change of scenery is exactly what he needed season is wrapped kenny hardaway wins mvp that's a tough name he's a 7-3 big oh my goodness when Binyama wins DPOY and Isaac Adrian is on the second team this year. Numbers went down in Sacramento. And this season, the Kings only won 44 games. So maybe the change in scenery wasn't what our guy Isaac Adrian needed. I guess we'll find out in the playoffs. Round one, we're taking on Houston and we actually beat him. We're moving on to round two against the AC to T Wolves. Pretty solid T Wolves team for sure. I think we can take them down though. It's tied up into a piece here. We're gonna lose game five and we lost in six. Solid numbers for Adrian, but it's not gonna be enough. 
And now Isaac is headed into year 13 with only one ring to show for all these years of play. It's time to pick it up late in your career and start winning more chips so you can pass up Wembenyama. Another season in the books. No awards for Adrian this year, but he does make all NBA first team. And we were a play-in squad with 43 wins. And we're going to be taking on Wemby and the Spurs, battling it out for a playoff spot. Y'all already know we got to jump in the Simcast. This is the first head-to-head -head matchup between Adrian and Wembenyama in this entire video. And clearly, Adrian has something to prove. He went out there and got the dub. He didn't have anything to prove, I guess. His teammates were out there carrying only 16 points for Isaac. But nonetheless, we're headed into the playoffs, taking on the Los Angeles Clippers in round number one. Pretty decent Clippers team. I feel like I'm just used to Adrian disappointing me, though, at this point, so we're probably going to lose. Oh, we actually won. We're moving on to round two against Utah. Oh, the Jazz have that crazy big man. They've also got Lionel Hunter, Anton Markov. This team is crazy. How are they a six seed? I feel like they're about to smack us. We're down three to one. We win game five and six. All right, Isaac. Let's see if we can make this 3-1 comeback. We're jumping in the Simcast for game seven. And we come up short in game seven. Another disappointing ending to the playoffs for Adrian. And Adrian will have a chance to test free agency next summer if he wants to, as he's entering the final year of his contract with the Kings at 33 years old. Another season in the books, AJ DeBond still wins MVP. And look at that, Victor Wembenyama wins Defensive Player of the Year. That's probably the one area where Wemby has Adrian beat out besides championships, of course, is winning that Defensive Player of the Year award. Wembenyama has had that on lock throughout most of this video. This season, the Sacramento Kings won 49 games, making them the four seed. The Spurs won the exact same amount of games on the year. In round number one, we're taking on the Thunder. They're not as crazy as they usually are in the sim just because we're so far into it and we end up beating them in six. Round two, it's going to be the Denver Nuggets. If we win this series and the Spurs win their series, then we could see Wembenyama versus Adrian in the conference finals. It looks like we're about to lose though. We'll take game five and and six. All right, let's see if we can pull off this 3-1 comeback. I saw San Antonio just won their series in seven, so it'd be awesome to see Adrian versus Wemby, but that's not going to happen, man. We got cooked in game seven, only putting up 82 points as Adrian had 22 and 11. And after the playoff loss, Isaac Adrian did become a free agent, but he decided on signing a four-year extension to stay in Sacramento. It looked Adrian's going to be here till he's 38 years old, so he's got to make the most of of it hopefully he can pass Wembenyama in championships it's gonna be tough though Adrian hasn't won one in so long another season in the books I thought Adrian's best years were behind him but apparently they're not he went out there and won MVP and defensive player of the year also made all NBA first team Wemby's on the third team at this point he's only averaging about 17 a night the Kings were elite this season, winning 60 games behind Adrian's MVP effort. And in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Thunder. We end up beating them in five. Round two, it's going to be the Pels. And we're down three to two. We lose in six, man. It's been so long since you made the finals, Adrian. And who knows how many more seasons he has left at 35. He's going to have to make the most of them. Another season in the books, AJ DeBond still wins MVP. Isaac Adrian on the second team at 35 years old. This was his 17th season. That's crazy. And this year, we had a great year, winning 54 games. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Bro, bro, really? Adrian was doing his thing in round one. We still lost, though. And now the supporting cast is getting old in Sacramento. Adrian himself is getting old. This year might be tough. Season is wrapped. Mitchell Finley wins the MVP at 93 overall in year four. Hold on. This guy might end up being really good. Isaac Adrian wins defensive player of the year. Adrian was also on all NBA first team. Wembenyama is still on second team at 38 and he has more rings than Adrian. Hopefully Isaac can change that this year. In round one, we're taking on the Oklahoma City thunder we beat him in five round two it'll be denver and we lost the clock is ticking for isaac adrian this was year 18 and he was unable to win a championship but he isn't ready to retire just yet so we'll see how many more seasons he has left scoot just retired though so that's definitely gonna hurt bro this king's team might be cooked without scoot 
Maybe we can pick up somebody in free agency to replace him. Oh yeah, the team's done for. Adrian's got a year left on his deal. He's gotta go after the contract is up, man. Season is wrapped and an old Bronny James wins MVP. He's 37. Isaac Adrian adds another DPOI to the resume. And this year we won 40 games, making us a play-in team. And we've been eliminated. And at the end of the season, Isaac Adrian decided to call it a career after 19 years pro. He won, he won one championship, seven MVPs, one finals MVP, made 19 all-star teams, 14 all-NBA first teams, and three all-NBA second teams. He also won five defensive player of the years. For comparison, Victor Wembanyama won two championships, one MVP, two finals MVPs, made 19 all-star teams, four all-NBA first teams, and 12 all-NBA second teams. And Wembanyama won nine DPOYs. Isaac Adrian finished fourth all-time in scoring, and Victor Wembanyama is still active in this simulation, but as of right now, he's 12th. Adrian was 11th in field goals made, Wemby was 13th. Adrian finished number one all-time in threes made. He was 14th in free throws made. Third in rebounds, Wembenyama was sixth. He was seventh in blocks, and Wembenyama was first. He was fourth in minutes, and Wembenyama was fifth. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.